And in business news, the Minister of Finance, Budgets and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, says Nigeria's revenue has dropped by about 65%. She said this necessitated the decision of President Muhammadu Buhari to discontinue the payment of petrol subsidy. She said if the petrol subsidy returns, it would lead to fuel scarcity because the government cannot afford to pay marketers. The minister stated that Nigeria is currently facing difficult times like many other countries around the world. She said the price of petrol would hence Henceforth, be determined by the price of crude oil. And joining us live to discuss this is economic analyst Tunji Andrews. Thank you for joining us on the program. Uh, thank you very much for having me. As an economic analyst, does this announcement come as a surprise to you? No, it doesn't. Um, it's not just Nigeria, if you look at it, it's a global trend. Um, most countries around the world have been um, experiencing shortages in terms of income, um, especially during the lockdown. Nobody was paying taxes, nobody was paying revenue to the government. As of now, even the FIRS and um, other tax authorities will tell you that they've had um, less income. When it comes to crude oil sales for the federal government of Nigeria, we've also had issues there too because uh, nobody was buying crude oil at a certain point, but they are started buying again. So, yes, it was expected. Hmm. Now, the Minister of Finance says the government has decided to stop paying fuel subsidy because of this decline in revenue. Do you think this is the right step in the right direction? Um, first of all, that's not why they decided to stop paying fuel subsidy. But... Um, not paying fuel subsidy anymore is a step in the right direction because, of course, any country that wants to develop, especially if the country is a developing economy like ours, it cannot sustain subsidy on consumption. It must subsidize production and not consumption. So um, it was expected. It should have happened years ago, but it's never too late to take that step. But the real reason why we're doing this is because of some of our um, um, covenants with um, the World Bank in terms of the $3.4 billion loan we took a couple of months ago. Uh, we did promise them that we will remove subsidies on petrol and we need subsidies also on um, power and also um, narrow the um, exchange rate uh, differential within, between the parallel and the official market. So that is the reason why we're doing this. Hmm. Now, she's insisting that even if the price of crude oil bounces back as well as the demand, and that's back to how it was in previous years, a subsidy uh, would still be in place. Now, what's your thoughts on this? Sorry, say that again. The Minister of Finance is saying that even if the price of crude oil and its demand bounces back to how it was, that uh, they still would not pay subsidy. What's your thoughts on this? Um, like I said, it's, it's important we do that. Um, it's just, the sincere thing here is that the government needs to be open with the people. Because the truth about it is that petrol could go as high as 200 naira, even more, if the crude oil prices go higher. So the government needs to be very open with the people so that the people are clear about the reason why it's going up and not that somebody somewhere is pocketing money. So it, it's, a, it's a theme of transparency. If the government can be transparent with the people, I think it should be, it should be well taken. Uh, but for now, the government is still trying to pay uh, dodgy gains. As, as I just explained to you, the reason why we were most subsidy. Thank you so much, Sinji Andrews, for your thoughts. Thank you for having me.